हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिविल नॉलेज सो इन दिस सेमेस्टर आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद द सब्जेक्ट दैट इज क्वांटिटी सर्विंग एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स मैनेजमेंट ओके दिस सब्जेक्ट वाज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एस्टिमेशन कॉस्टिंग एंड वैल्यूएशन फॉर योर सुपर सीनियर्स दैट इज स्टूडेंट टेन स्कीम ओके फॉर देम द सब्जेक्ट वॉज लाइक एस्टिमेशन कॉस्टिंग एंड वैल्यूएशन but for your scheme it is reframed reframed as quantity surveying and contracts management okay so scheme and paper pattern is same as previous okay so before going into the subject we will just read out the syllabus which are coming in your subject for this semester okay so subject code is what 17 cv 81 so ia is ia marks is for 40 exam marks is for 60 okay so once you get to know about the subject so you will be able to estimate the quantities of work so what are the quantities which are coming in the project you are able to do that so once you are able to do the quantities of work you need to what once you are ready to prefer or particulate or you are choosing what which are the work to be done once you get the quantities of work then you need to develop the bill of quantities okay so this type of work how much bill or how much cost it may happen for that okay so once you get to develop the bill of quantities and you will be able to arrive at a cost of civil engineering project you are able to estimate how much cost is happening or how much cost for this type of project it is going to happen okay this is the core subject you second one is you should understand and apply the concept of valuation of properties okay so you'll we'll here understand the how to evaluate the properties after any work we need to execute right okay if you are a, if you are going to be a government employee in pwd or cpw department you don't need you need not to work okay in the site the it is done by another person okay we will discuss it okay but what we have to do you have to see you have to evaluate the work which is happened already so that you can approve the bill for that type of client okay for that you need to know the basic knowledge that valuation of properties you have you need to know and you have next you have to understand the apply and create the tender and contract document okay how a tender is done and contracts are happening in our estimation sector okay so before going into the subject we will discuss something which will introduce the subject for you which will give a broad knowledge about the subject suppose you are going to buy a three things okay if you take four whatever it may be so suppose you are going to buy things from the market okay so you have to buy three things or four things whatever okay so before going to the market you have to collect what you have you need some cash so that you can bring that amount or bring that groceries or bring that fruits if you are bringing so let us take fruits only okay so you are you are going to the market and you are buying some fruits for example banana maybe mango it may be some apple okay so now so how much cost or how much rupees you have to keep in your pocket so that you should buy or you should buy the three things and you have to return to your home right now before doing or before keeping the cost or before keeping the cash in your pocket you need to think upon why you are going outside so for three things you are going right so how much quantity you need to bring okay so banana one quantity so how much quantity of mangoes how much quantity of apples you need to bring okay so three quantities correct next you must know the rate of each quantity that is 
rate per unit so i am writing from the mouse so it is r rate per unit so what is the rate per unit so if the banana is sold in dozens then what is the rate for 12 bananas what is the rate for 12 bananas or rate per unit mean for one banana how much is the cost if it is in kg for 1 kg how much is the cost you have to verify that also you must have the knowledge of that also that is you will take r1 for banana so for 1 kg of mango how much we will take for 1 kg of apple what is the cost we will take okay simply if you multiply the quantity and rate and we add them all what we are getting we are getting an approximate cost need not to be same it may vary but we can get approximate cost which is going to happen so that is called as what estimation okay so we have estimated the approximate cost which is occurring at the market so that we can buy the three things so like this way this subject goes on okay so in this way only they have designed your syllabus as module 1 module 2 module 3 up to module 5 so which we are seeing one by one in our coming classes okay so in module 1 what is there okay in this civil field so what we need to estimate we need to estimate the quantity of materials which is occurring for building what building buildings oh okay we should build buildings we should also build what roads steel truss like that it is designed first we will see the module one that is quantity estimation for building so here in the first module we will see the more examples that is the drawings which are attached with estimate to know the what are the unit of measurement which is attached to that the abstracts and what are the types of estimation so what is estimation what are the types of estimation okay so we will go in detail about the estimation okay so there are two types of so of method for estimation of building that is what short wall and long wall method short wall and long wall method and center line method so there are two method short wall and long wall method and center line method so two methods are there so which we will see okay once we are estimated the buildings okay once we do the quantity estimation for buildings next we will do the estimation for slab beam column and footing with the bar bending schedule okay if you understand this your module 1 is over so next comes your module 2 so in your module 2 we will see the estimation of steel truss okay manhole and also septic tanks so with an example we will estimate the quantity of units of work which are occurring in the steel truss project if the steel truss has to be built then what are the procedures what are the materials which is required how we should calculate the approximated cost so that we will see in this module 2 similarly for manhole and septic tanks so once it's over next in the module 2 we will also see the quantity estimation of roads so road estimation okay if it is in banking we have to do earthwork okay if it is cutting we have to do filling okay we will see this detail in the module 2 and we also analyze the cost analysis for roads then in the third module we will see the specification okay so whatever the specification so what specification directly signs the word that is quality which quality of material you are using for this which type work okay if you buy any phone you will see the specification right 3 gb ram 84 gb 64 gb storage okay like that 2 gb ram or 4 gb ram or 8 gb ram like that which specification for the particular item of work what is the specification of the material so how it is to be done so they they all are mentioned in this specification for civil engineering works okay here we will see the specification of essential essential specification for the materials okay how it is to be written 
and what is the result which we need to take in your model 3 and also once we know how we sh how we do the quantity estimation for buildings how we do the quantity estimation for roads and next we will we also know the specification then we must do what then we must analyze the rate that is rate analysis so how it is done for each and every item of the work how the rate analysis is done okay so here we are getting the incurring cost for that project which we are taking into account so here we will know so once we know the cost once the rate analysis is done okay once the rate analysis is done so we will have a clear picture of the estimated cost which is happening in the project right so if you in future you are if you are a government employee if you are sitting in the pwd or cpwd so you are not going to the site and you are doing this work someone else do your work who is that he is the contractor right so he will do your work and you must have the knowledge so that he will not fool you okay for that purpose you should know the management the contract management and tender and its process okay so you are just sitting in your office and you will just verify the what are the works which are going to happen okay and the contractor will do the work in the site with his team and you need to once the work is over you need to evaluate that and approve the bill so this is the process in the estimation department right so once we get to know the rate of the rate analysis then we are going for contract management and tender and its process so how to invite a tender okay and pre qualification administrative approval technical sanction so every technical term will come here which will come in the department like pwd cpwd okay so like that we will go into the syllabus okay so what are fidic con contract form cpwd nhai we should you will learn in this module 4 and this is types of contract that is epc and bot epc means what engineering procurement and construction fine next bot means build operate and transfer so we will learn about that one by one when we go into the chapter right next once we know the tender and its process then we are going to execute the work okay so contract management post award so basic understanding on definitions performance security okay so what are the work you need to do or what are the tests you need to do and what is the depreciation method okay we all learn in the contract management post award what that is in the module 5 so once these are done then we need to approve the bill for the contractor right so that is done in your valuation so definition of the term used in valuation process cost estimate value and its relationship capitalized value concept of supply and demand in respect to properties freehold and leasehold sinking fund rent fixation so everything after the project is completed so you need to do to approve the bill which is learnt in your last chapter that is module 5 so once you learn this module 1 2 3 4 5 so you'll be able to able to know about the subject and you are able to prepare detailed and abstract estimate for roads and buildings prepare valuation reports of buildings okay so you can also interrupt interpret contract document for domestic and international construction work okay so here the textbook which are given by the university is that is bn data estimation and costing okay estimation and costing by bn data so i am also following this book only estimation and costing by bm data you can also use this bs portal also civil engineering contracts and estimates chakraborty so this is also an important book also estimation costing and specification by lakshmi publication so two books are very important so as your point of view that is estimation and costing by bm data and chakraborty which i am following you can verify other book also no problem the concept will be same okay 
so this is about your subject that introduction of this subject so next session we will go to the module 1 so quantity estimation for buildings so what is estimate and what are the types of estimate we will go in the syllabus one by one okay so whatever i have told you so prepare for that and maintain the record thank you have a good day